Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Ron. In today's video, we're going to talk about torts and how we're going to have a midterm today. So I got this midterm today and how I've actually been practicing um, to memorize these rules. I got a voice recorder. It's a Sony recorder at Walmart. Uh, what model is this? I'm not sure what model this is, but it works excellent. The speaker is nice and loud. I wish I had Bluetooth so I can uh, play through the car. But man, it works great. Even with road noise as I'm driving, I just hit play and I can hear myself speaking. So the way I did this was I ended up, well, I made some flashcards first and then I'll show you guys a video about the flashcards. But I made the flashcard first. Um, and then after that, what I did was I cited each rule um, and I repeated that for two minutes. And then I stopped it, and then I hit play and went on to the next rule. So here's a little snippet. Of With the plaintiff's possession or ownership of property, that it is fair to require the defendant to pay the property's full value. So conversion occurs so when plaintiff when defendant so substantially interferes. And I just keep repeating it, repeating it, repeating it for two minutes. Then I go on to the next thing, intent or or whatever it was. Um, so as I'm driving right now, it's about uh, almost 11 o'clock in the morning. It's Thursday, the 20th of January, and I got a midterm today at six o'clock. So I left work early, going over to the school. I'm gonna stop at a couple places, maybe have some lunch, um, pull out my book, and just continue to uh, study and study and study until six o'clock. I have a PM class so at that six. It's gonna be two hours. Um, so this is for torts. It's two hours. It's my understanding. It's two fact patterns. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to, if after practicing and you know studying all this stuff all throughout the day, I got like six hours. Um, if I should then get to class, and then once we get started, maybe write out all the rules intent, battery, so all that stuff, and write it out before I maybe forget, and then as I'm reading the fact pattern, if something relates to it, then I got the rule written out already, rather than trying to memorize it. Now, ideally, I should just have it memorized and not have to write it out, but I'm trying to figure out that would be a better strategy. However, they're only giving us two minutes, I'm sorry, two hours for each fact pattern, so it's one hour each. I'm not sure if maybe I'm going to waste my time by writing out these fact patterns I'm sorry writing out these rules and maybe some of those rules that I write out may not even apply to the fact pattern that I have in front of me so I have to figure that out I'm gonna meet with a couple more um, classmates of mine and then we're gonna kind of see maybe what their strategy was see if I can run into any um, student that already has taken these mid uh, midterm exams and what they feel it might be the best way to handle it so man I got some glare over here so stay tuned I'll be back so right now I came out to the park I uh, have a little peace and quiet over here what I'm doing is just taking some time to kind of go over all of these several different notes here on uh, torts so this is the ninth edition of torts manuals outlines and um, during my last video what i had mentioned was you don't have to buy the most recent tort book or outlines just get anyone that's on sale i bought this through ebay i think i paid about 15 dollars delivered um, it's in very good condition it has no highlighting no writing um and it, it works out fantastic so the new books gonna cost you so much more. Nothing much has changed. Therefore, just pick up the old one. Or um, I had also mentioned to you guys, you guys can go to Barbary and how you can download one of them books as well. Um, so this is me. Right now I'm going through the capsule summary. So about this book here, this is the uh, capsule summary. What it says is after reading this, it just says that basically whenever you're going to be taking an exam, you should go through this capsule summary. It gives you the most important highlights of each rule. Um, 
and then after since i'm only doing a midterm i don't have to go all the way back it's only the first few i don't know maybe like 20 sheets 20 pages or something of this um but then from there since i have several hours i don't have an exam till six then i can go into each specific rule so i'm starting off right here i'm having uh enjoying an energy drink here i got my uh my stuff there got some lunch my backpack and uh this is the scenery out here I'm just wrapping up the day. I just wrapped up the exam towards one midterm. I feel that I did good. I feel confident about the exam. I talked to a couple of other classmates. It looks like we, most of us got the, uh, the, the same rules and stuff out of the fact pattern. So what they did is it was two fact patterns, just as I thought. One of them, well, it's one hour each. For this one that I received, we identify was battery, assault, um, battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. On the second one, I was able to identify battery, uh, the defense of um, recovering your chattel. I was able to identify um, false imprisonment. I was able to identify uh, trespass to land. And I just gotta say that I'm glad that I took the entire day off today from work to property plan and prepare for this exam today um, so you know I left very confident very confident now I'm still uncertain but I'm hopeful that I did well and I believe that I did but I just want to tell you guys that you should for sure do your best with memorizing the rules now, just the way I did it with the voice recorder that works out great if you know how to do it on your iPhone you can do it that way too um, but writing down the flashcards, uh, the rules on the flashcards, saying it to yourself, two minutes each rule. For me, man, I, I felt that when I, what I did was, I didn't write all of the rules that I memorized on my sheet of paper, scratch paper. What I did is, as I was reading through the fact pattern, if I saw a possible battery, right away I wrote down the rule for battery. If I saw a possible salt, the rule for salt, and so on and so forth. I felt that I would have taken way too much time writing out all these different rules just to make sure that I didn't miss something uh, when in fact this exam only had about five, six rules. And even and even and uh, when I walked away from the exam, I felt as if I wish I had a little bit more time. So this is my first exam. I'm hoping I'm going to get better as time progresses. I'm sure I will. Um, but towards the end, I caught myself having to kind of hurry and cut my analysis short or my conclusion short because I just I was running out of time and I needed to move on to the next rule, to the next rule. So my best piece of advice is to try to memorize those rules just memorize those rules memorize those rules it came out very very simple for me to be able to apply the rules to the facts and uh, to me that worked out great one other thing is I although I recorded all these rules I started practicing them and I started recording them myself and playing them back to myself. I really haven't been practicing as much as I should. So if I can give you a piece of advice as well, it's gonna to be to practice from the beginning and buy the outlines. That outlines 
it wasn't a book that the school told me to purchase. Um, one of the professors recommended that we purchase the outlines, and that's what I did. Um, but it's not like a mandatory book. So that is like the best investment, and like I said, it was about 15 bucks. Or the other book that I did was the one from Barbary. Um, the outlines there as well. That ended up costing me like thirty dollars. Um, I turned it into like a spiral binder, and that one's cool too. But I, I've been working on the manuals, and I, I like it. I like it. So um, memorize those rules. Start from day one, and not like me the last week or the week before the midterm. Um, but I'm preparing myself now that for the final exam for torts, I will make sure that I'm going to continue memorizing these rules and incorporate the new rules into the rules I've already generated. Um, then I got something, I got a, like a final for contracts, which I'll, I'll continue to bring you guys through this journey. But hope you guys are liking this video. I hope you liked today's video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like. Let me know uh, if you have any questions any suggestions um, anything else that you might want to see or you want me to talk about uh, you know think about doing a video concerning the different essential stuff that I have in my backpack um, I think that this is some of the stuff that I purchased before I started law school and it comes out very handy for me and I think it'll work out for you guys as well so I'll probably be doing a video concerning that and if you have any other ideas let me know. Again, my name is Ron and thank you guys for watching. Please give it a like or consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you again. You guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.